thought you might have something, some way of answering it. What does that say, that second word? We both. Uh, no, you don't earn. That's your problem. <laughs> you don't earn your salvation. It's a gift. I don't You don't earn gifts. Ask your kids. Um, a gift is a gift. Yes, So, you don't earn it at all. We go. We're given our sal uh, let me rephrase it then. We're given our salvation through God's grace, not by work. And we are not subject to the law, absolutely, because you're this side of the bloodline, but still have to fulfill the law in order to have your salvation. Now that's the whole point. It's the whole point Jesus came for. Because he set the law down. I'm really going to mess your camera up now. Um, this side, this is the prison, the place of sin. It's the place where the law was given. In, and, and they tried for, for thousands of years to fulfill the law. And they couldn't do it. And God knew that. It, it was they wanted something. They didn't want relationship with him, which was Adam and Eve. And, 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 and Abraham and, 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 and those forerunners. Like that. They didn't want relationship with him. They, they didn't want a prophet to rule them. They wanted a king. That was, they got Saul. They got Saul a generation earlier than God's plan. God's plan was always David. If you read scripture. But they wanted to be like other nations and have a king. So, so they pressed God and God gave them Saul. Saul wasn't God's man. David was a man after God's heart. He represented that godly anointing of intimacy, but also of being a warrior. That's that's this modern generation, this modern generation that's emerging that will be, have a place of intimacy with the Lord, but 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 be a warrior and strong and overcomer, and, and, and that place. So they could not fulfil the law, however hard they tried, however many sacrifices, however many holy days, however many contracts, they couldn't fulfil it. They, and the law never allowed them to get back into the place that Adam had to walk in the cool of the day with him. Because sin separates. And the only way that that could happen was for one man to come and shed blood in order that the gift of salvation was given. And they're taken, you, you were here when I did the righteousness thing. When, when we stepped out of this prison of, of, of sin and law, through the blood, through the cross, into this wide place, prison of righteousness. But your salvation is a gift, paid for by Jesus. And so you can't have salvation by law, you can only have salvation by unpacking the gift. You can't earn it. Your, your kids cannot earn that PlayStation 2. They can't do it. It has to wait for dad to give it to them. And this, this, is, the this is the struggle in a performance, working, you know, doing society that it's a gift of love that you don't deserve, that I don't deserve. But... but it's a gift. Yeah, I think it clear the, 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 the question. Sin, I mean, we have God grace already God for our salvation. What that means, the law is that we have fulfilled the Moses, the, like the Ten Commandment law. You can't fulfill it. That was, we are not supposed to confess to do this and do that. But you can't fulfill it. How, if, 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 if you are trapped, Okay, let me do it this way. If you are trapped in that room right now, there is no way out until someone comes and opens the door and lets you into this place. Yeah? That's the law. Jesus came in and opened the door and said, through me, through my blood, through my sacrifice, through the purchase price that I paid... You now come into a place of freedom. <coughs> but it's a gift. And
and the place of freedom, you can't go back and try and fulfill it. Why would you even want to? Why, why? I mean, what you're really saying is, is that in order to keep this, I have to go back and fulfill what, what was there in the place of sin. Why would you want to go back to sin? This is what Paul writes, you see. Do, do I sin in order that grace much more abounds? And he says, no, absolutely not. But if the law could ever have been fulfilled, somebody between Moses and Jesus coming would have found a way. But nobody did. And we were then captive in this sin mentality. This is part of the problem the church has got right now. It's got so used to law within the church, it's, it's become sin conscious, not, not grace, forgiveness, love, freedom conscious. When, 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 when a prisoner is released from captivity, and unless they become institutionalized in sin, which sadly is where a lot of the church has become institutionalized, and you give it freedom and it wants to go back to law, because it's comfortable, it's familiar, I know where I stand. But that's not freedom. I've come that Hadi might have life and have it to the full. There's no life in the law. Paul says, you know, above everyone else, I've kept the law. I, I, he, he was trained by the best, of the best of the best, Gamaliel. And he said, it's, it's not enough. And, 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 in, and in this place of freedom, it, 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 it's, this, it's this undoing of, of this. So Paul says, be transformed. Why? Because you don't want to go back here and just keep sinning so God's grace abounds. It's like when you, when you tasted freedom, you don't want to go back. When you've tasted the good fruit of the word or the good fruit of the spirit, and nothing else was satisfied. I tell you, when you've met him, undone. When you've had one little revelatory encounter with heaven, nothing, nothing ever is going to be the same. When you watch somebody get healed, it'll give you a buzz like nothing else on the face of the earth could ever do. And all you've done is just watch God move. And you'll never want to go back. You'll just want to do that like a child. Again, Daddy. Again, Daddy. Again, Daddy. Let's go heal another one, Daddy. You know? Because, because that's freedom. And, and it's hard for us to understand. It's been hard for me to get to the place or, 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 or remain free in that place just to enjoy the freedom. In a generation that doesn't know how to. To have that confidence and peace that says, if he says stop, I stop. If he says go, I go. Why? Why? Because he knows best. To say it as it is. And sometimes it gets me into trouble because I speak plainly. But other times everybody loves it because I speak the same plainly. But <laughs> it's still the truth. And the truth is that when you, when you knelt those months ago and came into this place of salvation, every single thing was washed away. Gone. Completely. Without trace. As far as the east is from the west. No smell, no hint. Everything was expunged out of had his, had his book in heaven. There was no account to give anymore. So why would you want to go back? What is, what is there to fulfill that the cross didn't? That's why it's, finished, sir. it's finished. It's all gone. However hard you go and look for it, Hadi, you'll never find it again. It's gone. Now in that place of freedom, we get to be who God created us to be. And, 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 and not wanting to go... See, this was Egypt's problem until that old generation... I find it really interesting that 2005 marked the end of the Moses era of 120 years from the Pentecostal outpouring. You're watching these giants of the faith, these Moses-type figures, pass on now. It's going to accelerate. I don't believe Billy Graham's got very long at all. I, ju I just I think that that generation that that style are, 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 are being elevated.